we're going to learn the product of two or more than two real functions and we just deal you know in algebra of real functions we deal uh, uh, addition of real functions and then we learn uh, subtraction of real function and now we're going to talk about the product of real functions so everywhere the conditions is same all right uh, for two real functions let's say f is one real function defined from x to r and similarly g is another real function which is defined from x to r where x is a subset of uh, real numbers okay uh, with some members let's say and now in the same condition I want to find out the product of these two functions right uh, product of function f and the product of function g okay so uh, this we can define from x to r by you know uh, fg there is no need to give right point even you know fg uh, of x you know the product of f and g fg of x can be defined as f of x times g of x all right where always keep in mind x is the member of x x means the, this bigger x all right uh, the subset of the real number so let's take an example that will be more uh, better let's say f of x equals to 2x and g of x you can take anything let's say 6x square okay so uh, now i want to find out fg the product of these two function okay so it's gonna be f of x times g of x and let's say it is 2x and this is 6x squared so it's going to be 2 times 6 that is 12 and x times x squared that is x cubed okay so fg of x fg of x is 12 x cubed right so this is the product of two function f and g and uh, if we take an example let's say x is for a while anything you know it's a member of x x i mean to say this x let's say 3 so it's going to be fg of 3 is going to be 12 times 3 cube that's 12 time oh my god uh, 3 cube that is 27 uh, I have to use calculator uh, but it, it can be short you know uh, 27 times 12 it's uh, 270 plus 54 so 4 12 and 3 324 all right so it's 324 so this is how we have to find out the product of two or more than two real functions and uh, the next algebra of real functions will be like wh whenever a uh, scalar is going to multiply a real function then what happens all right uh, that we're going to learn so so multiplication by a scalar 